All right, as far as I understand, you'd like to explain the difference between amines, amides, and arenes. Yes. Are, you, are you with me on that? Yes. Okay, right, so let's go through a couple of these examples. Because it's quite confusing, everything sounds the same, hey? Yeah. Okay, right, so let's start off right, with. Mama. Now, when I'm looking for something which is an amine, right, the thing which I'm going to look for, and this is what confuses it with amides, right, yeah. we're looking for a carbon which has got an NH2 on it. Right, are you okay with that? Yes. Right, now the thing which allows us to get confused with amides is because there's also an NH2. So there's C and an NH2, but there's something about an amide which makes it very, very special. It's very, very similar to a carboxylic acid. Right, because a carboxylic acid has got an OH at the end and a double bond O. Oh. That's what makes an amide special. Yes. Okay. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a couple of examples of this, and we're also going to take a look at what an arene is. Yes. Okay, yes. right, and what an arene is, and the reason it's called an arene, that AR stands for aromatic. Yes. Right, now aromatic means that every second bond is linked up, and it's a double bond, so it's an aromatic alkene. Yes. Okay, now the way to spot an arene is usually that you've got six carbons in a ring. Now, as far as I know, in school chemistry, I don't think they use any examples which are not six carbons in a ring. Now, the special thing about arenes is every second bond is a double bond. Oh, yes. Have you seen one of these before? Yes. Okay, right. So, this is probably one of the most common and simple arenes. Now, this one that I've drawn up here, quite simply, is called benzene. Yes. Now, all of my arenes usually end in ene. Okay. Yes. Right, so we're going to take a look at a couple of examples of each one of those, and I'm going to show you how to spot all of these. Okay, right, so I'm going to draw a couple of things on my board, and we're going to go through them, and we're going to try to see if we can't name them, and see what type of compound they are, if they're amines, amides, or arenes. Okay, right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two carbons, and then I'm going to put a double bond O, and I'm going to put an NH2 there, Right, and we're going to draw in my other H's as well. Right, I'm going to draw another example, very similar to that one. We're going to make three carbons in this one. And we're going to put an NH at the end. And uh, there's a couple of ways of naming amines. Right, it can get a little bit complicated, but uh, it's not too bad. As far as I know... They've only got amines at the end in school chemistry, but I'm going to teach you how to name them anywhere else as well. Mm. So we can go from even having a branched amine if you want. So we can have the amino on one of the carbons in the middle, and we can play around with what's going on there. Okay. All right, so let's go about naming these two first, and then I'll show you another amine. Okay. All right, yes. so let's start with the top left molecule. How do I usually name a compound? I need to count the carbons, hey? Yes. Right, so I've got one, two. What does that get me? If I've got two carbons, I go meth, eth, hey? Yes. So it's ethyl. Now what I've got to do is I've got to spot that there is something in common here. If there's a double bond oxygen next to the amine, what does that mean? It's an, what is it? It's a double bond between. It's got a double bond right next to the NH2, which makes it a amide. Amide, yeah. Okay. Right, so I name this thing ethyl amide. Oh. Is that okay by you? Yes. So that's ethyl amide. Now, if there was no double bond O, it would be ethyl amine. Amine, yeah. Okay. Right, yes. now we're going to look at the other molecule, and we're going to find the functional group with the NH2. Now, this NH2 doesn't have any more double bond oxygens. Do you see that? Yes. So that means that it must be an amine. Okay. Yes. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to count the carbons. Let me just make some space. I'm actually going to take out this one. Right, let me actually just make some space with this molecule. What do you think? We've got three carbons, so it's meth, eth, probe. Oh, we have three carbons. Three carbons, so we've got probe, eh? Probe, yes. Okay, now there's a few ways to name an amine. Right, now you can say amino propane 
right? Or you can say propyl amine. It depends on how you guys have learned to name it. Yeah. Both are correct. Okay, so yeah. what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, right, ah, let's not write it in white. Let's make sure that you can see it nicely there. Right, so propyl amine. Now that's the most common way of naming this. Right, but what you can also do is you can say that on the first carbon, right, we can say that it is one amino propane. So it's propane with the first carbon with an amino on it. Are you happy with that? Yes. Okay. Right. Now let's talk about an arene. Now I'm going to draw an arene an on the board and we're going to see what identifies it as an arene. Okay, now this arene you can buy in the hardware store and it's for chasing away the moths in your clothes. It's, it's moth balls. So this arene is actually quite poisonous. Most arenes are. Right, they have a tendency to cause cancer. Right, so you shouldn't be breathing in mothballs. But uh, this is a special type of arene. Now, can you see that there's two arene rings joined together? Yes. Okay, right, and I'll show you what's in the name which gives it away as well. Right, so we've actually got two arenes which are joined together here. So we've got one on the left, and I'm going to join my hydrogens fairly soon there. And I've got one on the right as well. Okay. Right, can you see that this is an arene? How can we tell? Oh, because it's, it's, a, it's a circular arom aromatic. Yes, there we go. It's circular aromatic. Every second bond is a double. Yeah. And this thing's name is naphthalene. Mm. Okay, right, naphthalene. It comes from oil. Right, yeah. and that's for mothballs. Are you happy with that? Yes, I'm happy. Okay, very good. Nice question, Tutuka. I hope you study hard and good luck for your exams, hey? Yes. All right. Jack, 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 Jack.